The DevExpress Component Suite includes the bottom sheet control for .NET MAUI. You can use it to display supplemental content, giving users the ability to use all screen space for their elements. Bottom Sheet helps you to use screen space more efficiently and create a mobile-friendly user interface. Here are some examples of how you can use the bottom sheet control. You can display the detail view of a master detail relationship. Display extra buttons within your application UI. Display a filtering view and allow users to select items in a combo box control. In this video, I'll go over the base bottom sheet settings. Then I'll create a bottom sheet that displays the detail view of a master detail relationship and stores extra buttons that perform custom actions. Let's start by adding the devexpress.maui.control NuGet package to the default.NET MAUI project. Let's start by adding bottom sheet and a button in a new project. Handle the button's clicked event and set the bottom sheet's state property to half expanded. Let's run the application to see the result. You can also use the isModal property to specify whether bottom sheet blocks interactions with underlying controls. Next, let's see how you can use bottom sheet to implement a detail view. As a starting point, I use the project with a collection view that lists orders. Each order contains items that we will display in the bottom sheet. Open the main page.xaml and add bottom sheet next to collection view. Add the collection view selection changed event handler and change the state property value to open bottom sheet. Let's run the application to see the result. Next, let's add a clicked collection view item name to bottom sheet. Add a label to the bottom sheet and bind it to the selected order.details property. Now we'll populate bottom sheet with a collection of items in a specified order. Add a collection view control to the bottom sheet control. Set the collection view's items source property to the selected order.details object. At the master data level, we bind the collection view selected item property to the view model's selected order property. Now let's minimize bottom sheet when the collection view is scrolled to give a user more space when he or she interacts with the master collection. To do this, add a selection changed event handler. In the code behind, set the bottom sheet's state property to half expanded. And run the application to see the result. We can define a custom item template with the grid control. Add an image, a label, and a horizontal stack layout with two labels. And bind these controls to the required fields. Let's run the application to see the result. Now let's add quick action buttons to bottom sheet. Open the model.cs file and create the action item class. Each item has a caption, icon, and command. Open the main view model.cs file and create items for share, print, repeat, feedback, and bookmark actions. Go back to the main view.xaml file, add a horizontal stack layout on top of the bottom sheet container, 
and bind its bindable layout.item source property to the action items collection. We can now define the background color of the bottom sheet control and specify other customization properties, including templates. We can define a custom template for action items that contain the DX button control with image and text. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.